In this short tutorial video, I will show you how to set up weighted grid categories in Infinite Campus to mirror the ones set up in the assignments section of your Canvas Live Course shells. This is to help appropriate assignments when utilizing the Canvas Passback feature in Infinite Campus. If you have a screen similar to the one I am showing on, this, on my screen, go ahead and click on the three stacked lines in the left corner of your Infinite Campus window. Most of you will already see the black sidebar on your screen. Go ahead and click on Gradebook. Once in Gradebook, you will need to go into Settings and then click on Categories. You'll notice that a window pops up on the right side. You can set your sections in total that are assigned to you or just one at a time. I choose to do all. Currently, I have formative, imported, practice assignments, semester exam, and summative. You do not need to have all of these, but minimally you must have formative, summative, and semester exam. I'm going to go ahead and click on formative. Since our courses are set up as semester-based, I have set up my formative assessments to be 30%. In order to make sure all of your sections are put together with the same weight grade category, you can click on the Select All button at the top in the gray header. From there, you can go ahead and go across and add the weight. So 30. You do not need to contact with sequence or exclude from calculation or drop low score at this time. You only need to worry about adding the weight of the graded category. Once you have chosen what you needed in this category, you can go ahead and click on Save. Imported is given because sometimes when we do imports into our courses from our workrooms, those populated into the imported assignment category within the assignment section of Canvas automatically. We do not need this, so we can delete it. In order to do that, just click on Imported. You'll notice in some sections, you cannot delete it. In other sections, you can. If you can't delete it, make sure that you set the grade weight to zero so these assignments do not count against the students. Once you get a chance, go back into Canvas and move them into either formative or summative or practice assignments. And then click Save. If you're choosing to delete the whole section, make sure you select All and then click Delete. If you're double sure you want to delete this category, go ahead and click OK. It will tell you that some assignments are aligned, so you cannot delete it, so just go ahead and close. And then you can unselect and only select the ones that are not already previously selected. I choose to keep mine at zero in case it populates again, so it does not mess up my Infinite Campus gradebook. You can always change the weights in Canvas, and it will pass back appropriately in Infinite Campus later on in the evening. Practice assignments I have created for those tasks that are in the orientation module. Those need to be 0% graded weight. So make sure you go in, again, select all, and it should populate all the check marks down. Make sure it's set to zero. Again, you do not, not need to have contact with the sequence, exclude from calculation, or drop lowest score. And then you click Save. You continue the process with semester exam at 10%. As you can see, I've already done 10% on mine. And summative are set at 60%. If you have any questions about how to set up your grade weights in either Infinite Campus or Canvas, feel free to contact me directly in CCSD Gmail. Thank you and have a great day.